This is not a construction zone. Every morning, tractors from the Parks and Recreation Department at Miami Beach clean up the daily seaweed influx that has been affected the beaches, costing millions to taxpayers. While sargassum flows have increased in recent years, 2019 brought record amounts to Florida beaches. This seaweed spreads in warmer waters, so scientists see climate change as making the current inundation worse. Jaganta Obesacra, director of the Sea Level Rise Center at FIU, said this issue will keep increasing because of sea level rise. Tight gauges in this region, sea level has been increasing and we are already seeing some coastal flooding uh, in places like Miami Beach and in some parts of Miami-Dade County and the Keys. Sargassum is a flowering marine brown alga that is an important habitat for organisms like tuna and turtles. It grows in high temperatures, even though it's not harmful to humans, when it decomposes, it smells and attracts flies and other insects, which affects tourism. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. We like the clear blue waters. Okay, I hate this stuff. It's smelly and it's bad for tourism. Currently, Miami-Dade County is spending an estimated amount of $45 million a year in removing sargassum from the shore. According to Mark Richard, Senior Region Manager for the Miami-Dade County Parks and Recreation, even though the county hired a contractor to remove the seaweed, they are still facing issues. Well, the options uh, are kind of limited. What we can do uh, financially uh, it can be very difficult to remove uh, large amounts of seaweed. Right now, we're currently removing the seaweed in hot spots, which are around man-made objects that we have on the beach. So they put an outcropping of rocks to collect sand. Uh, it also collects seaweed. Beaches are looking cleaner thanks to city management. But experts say this issue will get worse as climate change crisis increases.